Have you considered the barriers to your success and happiness might not just be external challenges, but hidden traps set by your own mind? That's right, your own thoughts and habits could be the secret saboteurs you never saw coming. You might be unaware, but these self-imposed barriers are often so subtle, so ingrained in our daily routines, that identifying them feels like unraveling a mystery. Today, I am diving into the psychology of self-sabotage, unveiling eight ways you might be unknowingly holding yourself back. These insights are not just observations, but keys to unlock a healthier, more productive you. Are you ready to confront the subtle adversaries within your own psyche? Let's decode these hidden patterns inspired by stoic philosophy and modern psychology to transform how you approach life and success. The Perfectionist's Paradox The pursuit of perfection is an endless spiral. When we set unattainable standards, we're setting ourselves up for failure. Seneca wisely pointed out that our suffering is more often a product of our imagination than reality. This relentless pursuit leads to a constant state of dissatisfaction as perfection is an ever-moving target. Recognize that excellence is achievable. Perfection is not. The Comfort Zone Cage Comfort zones are deceptively dangerous. They promise safety but rob us of our growth potential. Epicurus known for his pursuit of balanced life, warned against the stagnation that comes from too much comfort. It's in the uncomfortable, in the challenges and the unknown that we find our true potential and capacity for growth. Procrastination's Cunning Mask Procrastination is often mistaken for patience, but it's a roadblock to our goals. The Stoics were champions of purposeful action and self-discipline, they believed in seizing the day, not postponing it. Procrastination robs us of the present moment, the only time we truly have to make a change or a difference. The Echo Chamber Effect It's human nature to seek validation, but constantly surrounding ourselves with similar opinions hinders our personal growth. Aristotle emphasized the value of diverse viewpoints and healthy debate. Growth and learning occur when our ideas are challenged, not when they're constantly reaffirmed. The Blame Game Blaming external factors is a way to avoid taking responsibility for our actions. While it may be comforting, it leaves us powerless to make changes. Stoic philosophy teaches us to focus on what we can control, our reactions, decisions, and mindset. This empowerment leads to a more proactive and fulfilling life. Fear of Criticism Avoiding feedback is a common defense mechanism, but it hampers personal development. Socrates, through his dialogues, demonstrated that critique is a tool for growth and self-improvement. Embracing constructive criticism allows us to see things from different perspectives and improve ourselves in ways we might not have considered. The illusion of busyness. In today's world, being busy is often seen as a badge of honor. However, Marcus Aurelius warned against busy idleness, activity without purpose. This illusion of productivity can distract us from our true goals and purposes. It's important to differentiate between being busy and being productive. The anchor of past failures. Dwelling on past failures can prevent us from moving forward. Epicurus taught that understanding the nature of past events is essential to overcoming their influence. By learning from our past, instead of being anchored by it, we can make more informed decisions and embrace new opportunities. The Comfort in Misery And now the most subtle form of self-sabotage, the comfort in misery. It sounds paradoxical, but there is comfort in the familiar, even if it's negative. Stoic philosophy teaches us that growth and fulfillment come from stepping into the unknown, from embracing change and uncertainty. 
Breaking free from the cycle of misery requires courage and a willingness to confront what we fear. In conclusion, today's journey through psychology and stoic wisdom has revealed the subtle ways we might be holding ourselves back. Armed with these insights, let's challenge ourselves to break these patterns. Subscribe for more explorations into the human psyche and the wisdom of history. Remember, the only limits that exist are those you place upon yourself.